Hey Leo, welcome to your monthly reading for September. I am a Charlene Lizette. Whether you are new or whether you are returning a massive thank you to you. Either way, I hope that you click subscribe and you become a part of our collective. Let's dive in and see what's going on for you this week. We're going to pull out three cards for career and finances, Leo. Three cards, wow, okay. Three cards for general overall energy and three cards for love and romance. Okay, Leo. Leo, Leo, oh my goodness gracious, all eyes are on you, baby. This is going to be a really, really good month for you, okay? Lots of uh, things to look forward to, a lot of stuff to rejoice here. Um, ooh, okay, wow. Honestly, overall, this is looking like a great week, like awesome sauce, okay? Uh, let me get some of these cards here. We'll do love at the very end wow okay leo you worked so hard for this beautiful oh my gosh this this virgo season we're having in september for you is just going to be astronomical not only are you going to be get, getting organized not only are you going to be learning not only are you going to be like creating very practical plans and routines but you're also going to see a lot of success in the month of september you've got success here i know that there is no greater goal than to love so in your career and your finances you've got the empress card there is a lot of abundance coming your way along with the six of wands not only are you going to be magnetic but if you're on social media you could go viral okay you could blow up you could have a lot of people buy your course a lot of people want to work with you whatever like I I'm telling you this is going to be a month of immense success here okay this is a really, really good combination. If you've been learning tarot, you're going to know that. You're going to know that the Empress together with the Six of Wands is literally somebody who commands spot the spotlight. Uh, think Beyonce. Think Taylor Swift. Um, think Charlie D'Amelio. Like, think really, really big, prominent names in whatever industry that you work in, okay? With the Five of Swords, I do see some healthy competition here. I also do see that some people may not necessarily be like super happy for your success anyways listen remove them out of your life you don't need them there you have the seven of wands at the bottom of the deck so i do i do again feel that um you know you might have to keep your cards close to your chest like not revealing a lot of things to a lot of people around what you're doing in your career and your finances um keeping things hush hush unless you trust the person now in the general overall energy we have the nine of cups so more emotional fulfillment more happiness like i'm telling you your cards are just phenomenal right now like they're so good the eight of pentacles you are like expect to work expect to be hustling expect to be very focused on your career expect to be very much um taking care of yourself so working out getting your hair done getting your nails done like all those things are going to be very 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 important in the month of um september it's not vain leo hello it's you okay you take care of yourself and you will feel amazing all right with that eight of pentacles again you're going to be analyzing and reflecting on your finances your money okay to make sure that everything is proper with the king of cups here showing up i am actually seeing that you're going to be very emotionally balanced this month you're going to be feeling very good emotionally. I I will I will spill the deets. I do actually see somebody coming into your love life. We're going to dive into the love right now. Let me just pull it out here. Um yeah, you there's a lot of success for you this month. Woo. Past like relationship just went flying, okay? Who is this person? <laughs> You deserve love and it's safe for you to love. Yeah, I'm telling you, um, a lot of you guys may be having um, somebody enter into your life. Ah, wedding at the bottom. Okay. Look, the big thing that I'm seeing here is overall your life is looking very fantastic in the month of um, in the month of September. You're going to feel far more confident, far more secure, and that actually could lead people 
to you because uh, with the Knight of Cups, I do see someone trying to make their way to you. Somebody wanting to offer you some somebody something. Somebody wanting to get your attention on something here. With the Two of Swords, I don't know that you're going to be paying attention to love as much as they're going to be wanting you to pay attention to them. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm also very fidgety with my hair. Um, while Venus is retrograde, don't cut your hair, okay? Um, or like do crazy things to it. You can go do like your regular trims or whatever, but I wouldn't go do a crazy style. I'm not sure if some of you have cut your hair and you're not happy with it. Like I'm, I can't stop fidgeting with it in your reading. So that to me is telling me that there's something about your hair, um, this month in September. Okay. Um, now with the hanged man here showing up, I'm also seeing here that you're going to be in this energy of like introspection, self-reflection. I don't see that you're going to be too focused on making fast actionable moves in your love life i think you're going to be more focused on your own abundance your own stability your own career success now you got past life relationship and the magician oh you guys have definitely known each other before i'm not sure if they've been manifesting you or you've been manifesting them either way you've been manifesting each other the five of pentacles you deserve love okay know that you know it's okay to go on dates with people and it's safe for you to love the devil. Yeah. It's okay for you to go on dates with people and it's okay for you to say no to people. Like be open to receiving. Do you get what I'm saying? Don't just say no to everybody off the top. Um, you know, sometimes you have to go on a date with somebody maybe that you may not want to go on a date with. And then who knows, like things can, you know, work out in your favor or as you're going on that date, you may end up running into your soulmate. Do you get what I'm saying? Like it's about putting yourself out there and also being receptive to the energy here. Granted, with Venus, you know, just stationing direct in the beginning of September and Mercury retrograde for the majority of September, not a time to be like jumping into crazy relationships, but I would say that it's okay to go out and date. You also have Vulcan here as your amulet. If you've been wanting to tap into the fire, to the passion, to the creativity, to the sensuality, pick up Vulcan. It's in the description box below. It's got Garnet, Red Tiger Eye, and Black Tourmaline, okay? And it will help you tremendously. Okay, Leo, that is your reading for the month of September. Lots of really amazing, positive things to look forward to, specifically in your career and your finances. You've worked so hard to get to where you're at, so celebrate these moments. If you want to book a session with me or take my tarot courses, take a look at the description box below. Ditto for the amulet. I'm going to leave you with this video here to help you with your love life, okay? So that you know if you're making the right choices when it comes to dating and the people that you are meeting. And to help you attract your soulmate. Yeah. All right? We will see you later, alligator. Peace out.